Appreciate you joining me once again. Today's hymn is the hymn, Is Thy Heart Right With God? We're going to be thinking about David's son, Absalom, today. Let's look at the hymn first, of course. Have thine affections been nailed to the cross? Is thy heart right with God? Dost thou count all things for Jesus but loss? Is thy heart right with God? Is thy heart right with God? Washed in the crimson blood, cleansed and made holy, humble and lowly, right in the sight of God. Thank you, Brother Lee Elkins. Appreciate it. Today's passage, 2 Samuel chapter 15, verse 1. After this happened, uh, after this it happened that Absalom provided himself with chariots and horses and fifty men to run before him. Now Absalom would rise early and stand beside the way to the gate. So it was whenever anyone who had a lawsuit came to the king for a decision that Absalom would call to him and say, What city are you from? And he would say, Your servant is from such and such a tribe of Israel. Then Absalom would say to him, Look, your case is good and right. But there is no deputy of the king to hear you. Moreover, Absalom would say, Oh, that I were made a judge in the land, and every one who has any suit or cause would come to me. Then I would give him justice. And so it was, whenever any one came near to bow down to him, that he would put out his hand and take him and kiss him. In this manner Absalom acted toward all Israel who came for the king, came to the king for judgment. And so Absalom stole the hearts of the men of Israel. Yesterday we looked at the account of David and Bathsheba and you might have noticed in that account where David says I'm going to run I'm going to raise up trouble from your own house and Absalom is a part of that trouble I was thinking about the hymn has thou counted how does it go let me look let me look back at the hymn especially this line dost thou count all things for Jesus but loss especially that line. Thinking about that concept within our passage. Here Absalom was. Other verses describe him. He was an extremely handsome fella. I believe he's the one who was, talks about no blemish was on him. He was good looking. But the Lord doesn't look at things like that, does he? But man does. Man does. The Lord makes that point when David was chosen, actually. When um, Jesse's sons were brought forth. But a lot of folks look at outward appearance. A lot of folks do. We need to learn to look at things like the Lord looks at things. But here Absalom was, and he was, he's handsome. You know, Saul, he's head and shoulders above Israel. Probably other individuals we could talk about in the Old Testament where it describes their physical appearance. Uh, Jesus comes on the scene and it says there is nothing comely about him that we should desire. But hast thou counted all things for Jesus but loss? And so we think about vanity. And have we counted it as loss? Beauty is fading. Proverbs 31. But here Absalom was, and he was portraying himself as someone who's real important. As he says, oh, if there is only someone in Israel who would judge your case. Isn't that what he said? Something along those lines? Oh, that I were made judge in the land, and everyone who has any suit or cause would come to me, and then I would give them justice. You know, as folks would come, and he would say, hey, where are you from? And there, these people are coming to the king for judgment. And just imagine, you have the plaintiff and the judgment coming, or the plaintiff uh, and the defendant, pardon me. The plaintiff and the defendant coming, and the plaintiff comes through, and Absalom says, oh, if I were judge, I would give you justice. And then the defendant would come through. I have a feeling Absalom would say the same thing, because he's not really interested in justice, is he? No, he's interested in stealing the hearts of the people of Israel. He's interested, frankly, in staging a coup. And this is, how it's, this is how it's going to happen. 
but he's portraying himself as someone real important. He has those... He provided himself with chariots and horses and fifty men to run before him. As he counted all things for the Lord his loss, might consider it. He's not, he's not real big on self-denial, is he? Not at all. No, he's, he's portraying himself and what he's trying to do as he ingratiates himself to others. Popularity contest, isn't it? Whenever anyone came near to bow down to him, he'd put out his hand and take him and kiss him. It's a popularity contest. And so I'm just mindful of the hymn. Hast thou counted all things for Jesus but loss? That it's not about us. It's not about um, our importance. It's not about our appearances, either at least not as the world thinks of it. It's not about our popularity. We deny ourselves. For your sake, we are killed all day long. We deny ourselves. It's what we must do. Take up our cross daily and follow him. Is thy heart right with God? Absalom, we know, we know what's going to happen to Absalom. It's not a good ending at all. His heart wasn't right, was it? Appreciate you. Hope you have a good day. Join us tomorrow for another portion of our daily praise.